Well, Judge dismisses a lawsuit to block the removal of the Confederate monument outside the Caddo Parish Courthouse. NBC6's Delano Henry hears from both sides and joins us live at the courthouse with next. Delano. Alex, this Confederate monument definitely has the Shreveport community divided. Now, some feel it's a part of history, and other, others feel it's just downright offensive. It's a statue. It's a monument. It's not something that has slavery written on it. People don't understand it's about humanity, man. It's what's right. Last October, meetings sparked anger, frustration, and at times discomfort. A community divided over this Confederate monument at the Cattle Parish Courthouse. Cattle Parish commissioners later voted to remove it. And I've been getting complaints from many citizens in Caddo Parish. The commission was slapped with a lawsuit from the Daughters of Confederacy. A federal judge dismissed the case, saying they did not have enough proof they own the land where the statue sits. Lyndon Johnson was one of the seven commissioners who voted for its removal. A lot of times the minority didn't have a voice in to say, well, you know, we didn't want it there. And so now, um, as time has changed, there is a voice. The cost to remove the monument is more than $250,000. So that leads to the question, who is going to remove it? The Dallas of Confederacy will be given a, a letter eventually to say, you know, uh, asking them to move their statue from our grounds. And uh, if that doesn't happen, then we'll have to do some type of legislation to get it moved. Jeff Bird says removing the monument is taking a page out of history. You have to have something like this big thing sitting right here to remind you. Now we spoke with one of the daughters of the Confederacy and she says they are not prepared to talk on camera right now, but they are going to appeal the ruling. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Delano.